Good evening everyone, welcome back to the Midnight Miners channel. In tonight's episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to put everything together on this motherboard. It's the BTC37 mining motherboard with 8 slots. It will fit 8 GPUs and um, what we're going to do is we're going to connect all the cables and everything that needs to be connected to it. I'll show you what I'm using for them and um, also turn it on and uh, show you how it runs and if you have to do anything. I don't know anything about this motherboard in particular. I purchased this because I wanted an option for more um, GPUs and uh, this was the cheaper alternative that I found and um, since I had some of the parts already available to me I didn't have to buy them like the memory like the ram the um, power supply the hard drive uh, i had all those sitting around and not being used so i figured let me find something that's cheap that i don't need to pay a lot of money to buy the motherboard and then buy a processor for it and do everything else this is specifically just for mining this will not work for anything else not that i know of uh at least but it comes with an integrated CPU and also graphics, so it should make it a lot easier once we connect it on the uh, computer, on the screen, sorry about that. Um, once we connect everything to the screen, it should make it a lot easier. I don't know if this will need an update or not. I don't know, like I said, I don't know anything about it. I've never done this before, so this shall be a project for me right now. I'm probably going to learn a couple of things, but it just seems pretty simple. It's going to be a couple of cables from what I see, um, and uh, it should be running. But let me get everything started and connected, and we'll see how it goes. So the power supply that I'm using is um, the Asus Tough Gaming 550 watt. I had this available. I'm not telling you that you need to run this, but you can because it only it's only going to power your uh, motherboard unless you have a server power supply with a breakout board for it you could use that so what we're going to do is we're going to take the 24 pin we're going to plug it into here and that's in power supply is connected to it i'm going to do next is i'm going to grab the the ram which I believe this is a DDR3. It came out of an all-in-one computer. It's only two gigabytes. It's not much, but it should do the job with what we got going on here. That's in. It's fairly simple. Just put it in, push it down, clicks right into place. You're good to go. I have my um, SSD. This one already has Hive OS um, on it. I've been using this just for testing, so I'm swapping it off from one rig to another. So we'll use this one for this video. Everything is connected. What I will do is take it and plug it in to the SATA port on the motherboard. And it goes in there. And this will have to get connected to the power supply also in order to power it on. I do have a adapter, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm using that mainly just to um, flash HiveOS on SSDs. So I think I'm gonna have to stop this for a second in order to, I'm gonna need two hands to plug the SATA power to the SSD. So give me one second, I'll be right back. All right, so I plug this in. It is fairly simple. You have your power. You have the, core, the cable that takes to the motherboard. So this is good to go right now. On this video, just for these purposes, test purposes, I guess, you might say. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cables that came out of the power supply. I do not recommend you do this with your own stuff. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know the graphics card that I'm pu putting in will not use that much. It's only going to pull about 100 watts. 
and I think the PCIe riser, the it would only pull less than 100. So for 200 watts, it should cover it. I don't recommend you do this. Use a dedicated uh, power supply for your um, to power on your GPUs and also the risers on on this motherboard. So do not do this with your own stuff. I'm doing this because I just want to get this video to you guys and uh, also trying to learn on um, how to put this together and what I need to do with it. So I'm going to plug this one in here. Actually, let's use the second slot. I'm going to use the second slot because the CPU is so close to the first one. Um, I just, for the first one, I want to do it on the second slot in here. So, that is in there. As you can see, these will actually tell you this is one power, the uh, 16, uh, that's a... Uh, for the first one that's the power second one third one fourth one and so on so you'll have everything numbered and uh figured out the way i do this i'm gonna have to connect this which is a splitter um from uh the power supply i'll take this female eight pin and it will give me two six plus two pins the only reason why i need this right now is because the graphics card that i'm using will be having two power pins two six pins in it so i need to have that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one together right now once again one-handed so bear with me on this one um might have to put this down again let's see if i'm talented Let's do this. That goes in there. Should be able to put it just straight in if I need to. There we go. That's gonna go in. There we go. That is in. So now we have two six pins for the GPU, and uh, we're gonna start it that way. I recommend. You start, once you connect everything, you connect your power cord to your power supply um, and you connect all the other wiring into it. Put in your HDMI, you have an HDMI port over here. Take it over to the screen, plug it in. And what I recommend is turn it on and see what it does. I've already done this once, so I know that this will actually turn on with no GPU. So it will just take you straight to BIOS. I looked around, everything is enabled, so I don't have to do much. Um, that might change though, once I add all eight GPUs. But as of right now, if I plug all these cables in and I turn it on, it will work. I put one GPU on it and I hope it will work. So we'll find out in a little bit. Let me get this GPU, we're gonna plug it in and uh, turn on this uh, motherboard. So this is just an, uh, I think this is an MSI R9380. It's a four gigabyte card, so it's not much, but I use it for testing uh, a couple of things. I was trying to get rid of this card, but I decided not to. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in. It fits nice in there. So we have our GPU on the motherboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the power cables to it. One. And then we'll have the second one. So there you go, we have two cables. We're using the splitter. Now, what I do, what I do with my stuff um, is uh, all my regular rigs. I will I use the server power supplies. I will use one splitter, uh, one of these, and power two risers with it. So if I have one cord coming out of the power supply, I can put this on and I will power on two risers. I don't recommend powering on two GPUs. Don't do that. I also don't recommend you powering on a GPU and a riser with it. Just 
split it and do two risers. That's the safest bet for me. I know it won't pull more than 100 watt per riser, so you should be okay with it. Um, so this is on, this is connected. Power cord, I have it into my extension, so I'm gonna have to plug that in and turn this on. Actually, let's do this. Let's do it from here. I apologize for the mess. I'm also having another computer that I gotta reinstall everything on and uh, send it out. So give me one second, let me plug this one in and I'll be right back. All right, and we are back. So I have my HDMI plugged in. I have the power cord in. I did not turn on this power supply, but you can tell that as soon as I plug this in, I have a light. So that means that this is getting power so far. Should be okay. So if I turn this on, it might turn on the whole thing. And I think it already did. But for all purposes, let's do this. That is off. I know. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you have a power button right here. Once you're plugged in and you want to turn on your rig, push the button. It should come right on. I don't have a keyboard in this um, rig right now, so we're just gonna wait another two seconds, one, and go. So it's going to go into hive and it should start it should work just fine um as you can tell it's loading hive os so that's okay i don't have internet because i don't have the network cable and i just wanted to plug this in and make sure everything runs like that um as you can tell it is running and um we're not having any issues with it. It's fairly simple to install everything. It's fairly simple to get it started, guys. Um, in my opinion, I do recommend getting something like this if you can't find anything else, unless you find something else. I will tell you, I bought this from Newegg. This is the one that I got. Um, I paid $199, and with shipping and everything, I think it was $217 to my house. So, that is not bad for something that comes with a uh, CPU already on it you might have to buy a ram you might have to get a power supply but you have to do that with any motherboard that you get out there for eight gpus i think it would eliminate most of the headaches that you get trying to get something working and uh figuring it out i have a lot of people asking me about my other motherboard the asus prime the z 390 p everybody's having issues not being able to run more than four cards with it so i had the same problem i'm going to have a video coming up about that so stay tuned that will be up in a day or two um, on how to make that work and I'll show you exactly what I did. But for this video right now, guys, I think that would be everything. I just wanted to do a, a real quick one for you guys. If you are wondering how these work and what you need to do, it's fairly simple. It takes less than 10 minutes to do it. Out of the box, put everything together if you have all the parts and you should be good to go. So. I think that's it for right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's uh, video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Other than that, I will see you on the next one. Take care, guys.